Hello and welcome back to another video on Unpack Technologies. In this video, I'll be taking you through the steps on how you can update your version of macOS Big Sur on an unsupported Mac. If you haven't already installed macOS Big Sur on your unsupported Mac, then you can check out my video tutorial on how to do this linked in the description below. Today, I'll be using the patcher called Patch Sur, which is made by Ben Sober. Recently, he released an update to the patcher that allows us to do the update natively through the app without having to create a new USB installer every time just to do an update to the computer. So, let's get straight into it. I'll be using my mid-2012 13-inch non-Retina MacBook Pro. However, these steps will be the same on all unsupported Macs that work with this patcher. Now, let's switch to a screen recording and I'll show you how to do it. To start off, you'll need to open your patch to post install file. To do this, go to Finder, click on Applications, then double-click on patch to it will warn you that it's an app download from the internet. Just click open. And then you'll see the patched window, patch uh, window will show up. So now what you want to do is click update Mac OS. And it'll check for updates. And then it will show you the latest version of patch sir. So um, you'll need to update to this for the Mac OS updates to work. So as of the time of this recording this video, version 0.1.2 beta is the latest version. So we'll just click download update. You can read a little bit more about it here if you'd like to. It's going to download the update. Okay, it says update complete. Failed to open patch sir, but you can do this yourself. So we'll reopen patch sir. And here we go. So it says version 0.1.2. That's the latest and that's what we need to be on. Now if for some reason the update doesn't work, I'll show you what you can do instead. So go to Safari or your main browser, type in patch sir, and then click on bensova slash patch sir. This will be a GitHub site. And now you can go to the right hand side of the window and click on version 0.1.2 beta or whatever one's the latest when you go to do this. Scroll down until you find post install app.dmg. Just click on that and let download. Once it completes downloading, click in the downloads folder and open post install app.dmg. It will verify it and then it will open the app. Now you just need to drag it into the applications folder. Now you shouldn't see this if this is the first time you're installing it, but for me I've already got a version of it, so I'm going to click replace. So this can this method would method will also work if you haven't got patch sir post install installed for some reason or if the update failed, because sometimes that can happen. So once you hear that little noise, that means it's completed copying. So we can eject post install app. And now we can go to finder and reopen patch sir. Just click open. And now we'll click update Mac OS. It'll check for updates and then it says an update is available. Mac OS Big Sur 11.2.3. So this is the latest as of the time we're recording this video. And you've got a few options here. We've got this nice UI that says start the Mac OS update. What's new with release notes, update tracks. You can configure it or you can just go back. Now, in this case, we're just going to click start the Mac OS update because you probably don't need to look at any of this stuff. So I'll just click that. It will ask for the administrator password of your Mac so that it can run the installer environment. So we'll enter that now and then click continue. And now it's going to start preparing for the update and then downloading the files. 
So as you can see, it's going to be about a 12 gigabyte download. So this is quite a lot. Um, so just be aware that um, additional data charges may apply. So you might just want to check that before doing this. So it's going to start by downloading the texts and then it will download Mac OS. So you'll see this little progress bar go across. And then once it starts downloading Mac OS, you'll see how many gigabytes it has downloaded of the installer. Now, once this completes, it will prepare for the installation and then it should restart your computer. Once it does that, it will continue the normal Mac OS Big Sur installation. So, um, and yeah, as you can see here, it's just started downloading Mac OS. So, um, this could take a while depending on the speed of your internet connection. But once it's finished, as I was saying before, the install process shouldn't take longer than um, half an hour to an hour, just depending on the speed of your hard drive or SSD in your Mac. And yeah, so just be aware that once this will just automatically go through the rest of the process, once it downloads, it will prepare for the installation and then it will reboot your computer and it'll do it all for you. So you might also want to make sure that your computer is plugged in to a power source uh, so that it doesn't run out of battery and corrupt anything. And then once it completes, everything should work fine after the installation. You may just need to repatch the texts through the patch to application um, if Wi-Fi and USB and things like that aren't working. So I might just show you how to do that now. So I'll just quit patch to, and then I'll reopen patch to from the applications folder. And then here you've got these options. So I'm going to click patch texts. And then you'll just click um, continue to patch the texts files. Um, but as I already have the kex files patched, um, I'm not going to do this because otherwise it'll unpatch it. But for you, you may just need to repatch the kex if things like that aren't working. So yeah, hopefully this was helpful with helping you to update your version of Mac OS Big Sur on your unsupported Mac using Patch Sur. Um, big shout out to Ben Saver who mate was making this happen. Um, and he keeps even keeps working on it more and more. He's currently working on version 2, I think, which is very incredible. Um, so, yeah. Thanks for watching this video on Unpack Technologies. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video.